What's going on, guys? Well, uh, shout out to Shoot Steel Targets. Link in the description box below. 10% off with code TT10. Uh, shameless self promotion out of the way. At least I'm honest about it. Uh, we are set up here. We got the Ender 3. I know, I know, more 3D printing videos. I apologize. But it's something super cool, and I'm really interested in it. And there's a lot, a lot of cool stuff you can do with it that uh, enhances freedom. So, uh,. <laughs> There's no reason literally not to have one of these. You can get this exact model for less than $180 and then filament, whatever kind of filament you want. Um, you know, all different types of colors, all types of whatever. And uh, super cool, super awesome, very affordable in the grand scheme of things. And uh, what do you need? What do you need? Some little tack tips with the, uh, with the 3D printer. Now, I am no expert at this by any means. I'm still learning each and every day, but I've got several successful prints now under my belt. Um, firearm, you know, Glock frames and uh, a bunch of cool little other stuff you guys are going to see. And this, the washable Elmer's glue, the purple stuff. This is literally a lifesaver. Before the thing is getting ready to print, coat the bed, and you will have proper adhesion of your layers, your first couple layers, which is the most important because that's the foundation of the entire print. This will save you. Um, you can obviously get it to print without any type of adhesion like glue, or some people also use hairspray. I feel like the hairspray would be a little bit more messy than this, um, but it's been working perfectly fine ever since I started using it I haven't had an issue now over here got a cool little toolbox this was actually given to me by a regular at the shop Larry thank you so very much because this thing is coming in quite handy and I'm really really digging it uh, so first off up top got some sandpaper that helps with finish work you know filing down supports and different stuff whatever you need polishing things up you got that and then we got all the snips and the snaps and the doodads these things if you are building polymer 80s to snip those rail off a pair of flush cuts these things are worth their weight in gold you'll have it done in like t t two seconds dude um, but these are all great for getting supports off of the prints and if you've never done one or if you've never watched a video on one depending on the supports that you use they could be pretty intense and you got to rip them off and break them off and all this kind of stuff and so pliers and and needle nose and and little snips and stuff you know with an edge on them uh really really come in handy and it's it's almost a necessity pretty much to clean up the print and then, of course, obviously, we got the sandpaper. Not all of these drawers are filled. Uh, this one has some upgraded springs for the bed, underneath the bed. Um, there are some springs, and that's how you level it, by tightening or loosening those springs. And uh, these are just the stock ones that are on there. But uh, Scales hooked me up with some springs. Well, I mean, I paid for them, but um, he ordered them for me because he was ordering them some for himself i haven't really had too many problems with the factory springs so i'm going to leave those in there at least for now but i got a spare set and an improved better set that is supposed to hold its level longer and in here we got some uh some sd cards and stuff you need that for the file this is a 3d printed sd card holder uh that scales made and gave to me and it holds uh Hold your SD cards in there. Where is it at? There we go. So it holds your SD cards in there. Um, little Another little in the video impromptu tack tip is 3D printers, or at least the Enders, Ender 3, Ender Pro, Ender V2, whatever it is, uh, and similar machines, I do believe they can only accept up to a 32 gigabyte uh, SD card. So it's that. You're going to have several little ones of that. Right now, I'm just running an 8 gig, and I've loaded it up with a lot of the files that I, you know, want to have on one to just be able to print at any given time, and I still got plenty of space on it. Um, 16, 32, whatever, but I recently just bought a 128 for, uh, for this, and then we found out that it's not going to work. So, I mean, I'm sure I'll be able to use this for something at some point in time. But uh, I got to go get some more 32s and stuff. But like I said, the 8 has been working out for me well already. And then you can always keep it stored on a laptop or an external hard drive or whatever. And then, you know, it's it's no big deal. Here's uh, some clips for the bed, okay, to keep it on there, attached. Um, these ones are for the glass one. These ones are for more like the... Uh, the standard little skinnier ones, uh, Jaw Reese. When you get the Jaw Reese, they give you an adhesive. Um, I said that word, adhesive. <laughs> 
I'm a loser. Um, but a little adhesive bed, and then this is the, the stock one that came with it. The more flimsy one, it's thinner. So these are thinner clips to uh, help the bed, you know, sit tight, sit right, all that good stuff. What else we got in here? What are some other little tack tips help you guys getting started? Because I, I do really think that you guys should start 3D printing all your own shit. Okay, this is a free country and will remain a free country um, only if we make it that way. And everybody's got to do their part. So if you're not the type to be out there with a bullhorn and a don't tread on me cape and, you know, storming the capital as it were, peacefully, of course, completely and totally peacefully, then maybe you can silently protest and uh, produce your own homegrown freedom of all types of shapes, sizes, colors, and uh, without asking permission for it. And all that stuff will be shown in videos. And you guys are going to be like, oh, well, why are you doing all this ghost gun stuff, all this ghost gun stuff, and then you're showing it to everybody. It's not a ghost gun anymore. They know you got it. For one, I'm doing that to show you guys, hey, this is possible. I'm a nitwit. I'm getting it done. Everybody should do this. Okay, make it commonplace. It already is commonplace. It's been our right to manufacture firearms for ourselves since the beginning of time. And uh, that's never going to change. And just because technology changes does not mean that your rights do. Um, so this 3D printed plus two base plates for uh, for a Glock 43. This is actually a, a messed up print, but that was a Glock 43. Here is a Glock 26 with a 3D printed. Um, well, it's a 3D printed Glock 26, and then it's a 3D printed Toxic Green Mag Catch. Here is a P80 with 3D printed parts on it, and. Uh, you know, P80, 3D printed magwell on it. We got a Glock 43 in orange. Okay, that's a real gun right there. Here's an orange Glock 19. This is a real gun right here. Um, so, all types of stuff. There's two 26s uh, and many more to come. But I'm doing this stuff and I'm not worried about because I'm, let's face it, I'm already on all of the lists. So, regardless of that fact, um, you know, it's, what, what do you got to hide? For one, they'd never find them. And two, um, you know, it is what it is. And if that's what it's going to be, then that's what it's going to be at the end of the day. And yeah, real G's moving silence like lasagna. And I get it. And there are things that nobody will ever know or ever find or whatever it is. Totally legal things, just nobody's business. Um, files, files, and a little tiny sharp flathead screwdriver. Um, definitely definitely helps getting the supports off and uh, just general use but you know a little file set simple little stuff handy little tools um, but back to my uh, pretentious patriotic pontification um, the 3d printer gives you freedom okay you can make whatever you want whatever they don't want you to have uh, it's constitutional and uh, whether man makes laws that are unconstitutional, making freedom illegal or not, is besides the point. Because last time I checked, free men don't ask permission. Okay? So if you want to do your silent protest in the basement, you know, in the garage, in the laboratory, wherever, and, uh, you know, never post it to the internet for, uh, for the memes, but uh, you manufacture yourself a bunch of ghost glizzies... Might be a good idea. Might be a good idea. I highly advise it, especially in today's day and age where the communism and tyrannical overlords are running rampant. Um, plastic bags, good thing to have on hand, especially if you do copious amounts of cocaine. I'm joking, but how do you guys think I do those live streams? Um, still definitely joking. Nobody raid my house. Um, Q-tips and some grease. That's just to help, you know, when you put in the new the new parts and, a, a, you know, a build or whatever, uh, P80 or 3D printed, um, you know, you want to grease them up, you want to oil them up because they're not going to be perfect necessarily all the time. A lot of the aftermarket stuff is going to um, have burrs or machine marks or whatever. Look, this, this is perfectly functional, but look how bad I screwed that up in there. It works perfectly fine, but it's ugly as shit. But that's the thing. Nobody's going to see it. It doesn't matter. The gun works flawlessly. And this is, you know, my 18th one or whatever. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. Okay? It's going to work. Um, 
little snap caps, stuff like that. You can make yourself training tools. You can make yourself actual whole firearms. You can make yourself whatever you want. You can make yourself tools to help you 3D print other things. Uh, keep a stream light in here, a pen for the notepad and all that. And then this, something like this to finish, do finish work and scrape off supports and all that, like an X-Acto knife. Um, this also really comes in handy with P80s and stuff like that. So if you are in the business, um, not necessarily in the business, but for yourself, you know, 3D printing stuff or, or doing P80s or whatever it is, um, here, let me get it. Let me get this guy open. I don't know why this drawer never wants to open. I got to pull it open like this. It's stupid. But um, you got to keep, I got the Elmer's glue on deck, son. The Elmer's glue on deck. This is definitely what you need. This is the biggest tack tip out of the video. Obviously, your settings and stuff um, on your printer, as far as your extruder temp, which is your nozzle, or your um, your bed temp, you know, all that stuff has to be proper. You got to be set up for PLA, PLA+, plus, PTG, whatever it is that you're printing with. And, uh, you know, you got to have good files and whatnot, but the the adhering to the bed the first layer uh is super important first couple layers here's a 3d printed mag catch for a gen 3 glock 19 17 26 it'll work in all of them um you know 3d printed mag wells all types of stuff this one still needs some finish work i haven't cleaned it up yet so it still looks rough but you know simple little tools get the job done and then turn it into something like this that's you know damn near perfect at least for my intended purposes it works i could even like more permanently affix this to the gun by threading in a bolt back there um, per the design here is a set of 1911 grips that I made with the golf ball texture. These just came off the printer tonight, and uh, they got some little fuzzies hanging off of them, but that all pulls right off. And uh, it's a serious, legit set of 1911 grips that actually have texture and are functional um, all day long. You know, even if you wanted to make a business out of it, you could print nothing but these in all types of different colors and designs and sell them for probably 25 bucks a piece all day long. Boom. Um, you know, whatever you want. And I might even do something like that to that effect on the Etsy shop or whatever. But yeah, I mean, it's cool. It's cool stuff. It's a great hobby. And it doesn't even have to be all about guns. But me, being the proud American that I am and loving freedom, always loving freedom, willing to fight for freedom, die for freedom. This is a pretty good place to uh, exercise some of those freedoms, affordably and constitutionally. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys got a little bit of knowledge gleaned out of that. If you guys are just starting out or you're about to start out, um, again, the, you don't need to spend a million bucks on a printer. Um, there's millions of places to get free files for all types of stuff. Uh, this is just house brand, micro center house brand filament, and it's been printing great. They got all types of cool different colors. It's cheap. Um, toolbox, organizer tools, have your stuff. It doesn't really take a lot of tools to do this. I don't probably need even every single thing in here, and this thing isn't even filled to the brim. But, you know, having the tools, this, the bed scraper, the printer comes with this. This is, uh, the printer comes with a couple other tools too, but this is an extremely useful tool. Um, just all types of good stuff. Keep your stuff organized, be ready to use it, know how to use it, um, and have fun. I mean, all types of cool stuff, you know, for gun guys, literally the world is your oyster. You can build all types of cool stuff. And, uh, what else? Here, boom. This is a bottle opener. Okay. You know, it's a bottle opener. You just open bottles with it. You 3D print this, any color, any size. You could, you know, whatever. Ooh, scary. So scary. Look at all the scary stuff on this table. The government does not want you to have the information, the knowledge, the tools to be able to produce some of this stuff for yourself. They want it to be completely regulated. They want you to ask permission. They want to know every single thing that you own and where you own it. Let me get my finger out of the way. Sorry, guys. And uh, free men don't ask permission. How free are you? Thanks for watching, guys. Leave it in the comment section below, and I will see you next time. Peace.